Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's another day in the dorm. Today's Thursday. It's 1.26 p.m. It's February 1st. February, right? January felt so long this year. I remember it feeling so short last year and this year it felt like two different months. I think because I was at home for the first half and here for the second half, there was just a lot going on. Anyway, my glasses finally came. If you saw my other vlog, they got lost in transit and they were found. So that's good news. It's going to be such a fun weekend. We have a mix, a Valentine's Day mixer tonight with a frat. And then I have one class tomorrow morning, two more classes today, one class tomorrow morning. And then I'm going up to the mountains to stay at my friend Sydney's house. This was so last minute. I ran into her yesterday and she was like me and a bunch of the other Young Life girls because I go to Young Life at Boulder. She was like, we're going up this weekend. Do you have any plans? you should come and I was like I don't think I have anything going on so I'm going to the mountains this weekend Matt sent me flowers yesterday they're so pretty and I really want the tulips to bloom. It feels like spring fully. It's so warm outside. I went on a walk yesterday and I was in a tank top and my friend was in a tank top and shorts. I was having this conversation with my friends yesterday. I'm like, literally, it feels like we're test rats. Like when you really get to thinking about it, we're put in these tiny little rooms with people we don't know. We have to eat the dining hall food. Okay, I'm realizing how unbelievably privileged that sounds because it's a blessing to get a college education, but I'm just like word vomiting. We were just on a rant getting to the granular aspects of living in a dorm. My next class is on Zoom and it starts in 30 minutes. So I'm gonna curl my hair now. That way when I get back from my second class of the afternoon, I'll be able to get ready quick. Oh, this thing's gonna fall off. The cord holder. I don't know what to do. Like it's on there so tight that the grippies are slipping off. That was quite the rant, and I still have more to talk about. I'm looking at this bare wall back here, and when I go home, I really want to print out photos of first semester because we've been saying we want to fill it for so long. I'm using the beach waver, but I'm going to use it like a wand because the curls come out a little more loose that way. And I've heard it, oops, I've heard it's better to curl from the top because you're holding the healthier part of your hair on the heat for longer versus the dead ends. I need to keep an eye on the time. It's already been honestly quite the week. I feel like this semester is so much busier than last semester. I guess in different aspects because first semester the adjustment itself and coming to a new place was very overwhelming but this semester my schedule is more overwhelming and I had a little bit of a breakdown earlier this week because I was just like holy crap I have so much to do. I was feeling very overwhelmed with my eyebrows. Look at it. Why does it do this arch? I know it's genetic, so Allie has it too. In my dad's high school photos, he has the same thing, but my eyebrows just naturally grow in a strange shape. I was saying I had a breakdown earlier this week. I was feeling really stressed and really overwhelmed, and I had my moment, and then I had another moment where I was like, wow, despite how overwhelmed I might be feeling right now, there are so many, or there were so many little good things that had happened throughout my day, and I posted these Instagram stories. The first one says, Tuesdays are my longest days this semester, and it feels like I am just non-stop from the moment I wake up. If you're feeling overwhelmed, you're not alone. Looking for the little things to be grateful for in my day always helps. Here's today's. I posted this song, this photo of my Apple Watch. I was laughing really hard with my friends and my Apple Watch thought I was working out so it gave me a notification that says it looks like you're working out, like record, whatever. I also posted our desserts, just like the little things throughout my day that really brought me joy. All that to say, I thought it would be good, a good idea. I have recorded this specific clip so many times and I continue to stutter. I thought it would be a good idea to center this vlog around finding Finding the good in little things day to day and just, I don't know what the title is going to be. Finding the good, finding the beauty and joy despite how overwhelming or stressful or even mundane your life can be. I just feel like we all can tend to get caught up in the hamster wheel of life just going through the motions. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I hope that it's applicable to your life. I just think it would be fun to like include moments with my friends, their little things that brought them joy. And we can all just be reminded that there's good in every day and God is good despite our circumstances. I'm gonna finish these curls and then get on my Zoom. It's much later, it's 7.25. And we're at Cosmos. We just picked up 15 pizzas, 15 large pizzas. What? Are those all full? Yeah, they're all full. <laughs> it's for a sorority and frat mixer. Oh, her. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. We have Parmesan, 12 of these jars of spicy ranch, 10 actually, and three more boxes in here. This is unreal. And we're going to the house in one sec. Woo! The theme is Valentine's Day, so we're in pink. We rented a forerunner for this excursion. Basically, we're trying to volunteer for as much as we possibly can because we want 
points to be able to live in the best room in the house. Yes. So we had to race for points to get a spot in the house first semester, and now we have to race for points to get the best spot in the house. I wonder how many we're gonna get for this. How many did she say? I have no idea. Hopefully, hopefully a lot. Yeah, hopefully a lot. And we're just waiting for Ryan. Oh. Oh, it smells god. amazing in here. Oh my gosh. Really wow. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, wait, oh, so that looks so good. They're so like saucy. Oh, yeah. Hi. Ryan and the Annie Cam. We're going to a Valentine's thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Show These your nails. Show your okay. nails. These are Look my nails. Ryan's nails. They're little oh. hearts. Aren't they so They're cute? They're so cute. So fun, right? Katie's wearing a really cute pink bodysuit. It's Kira's because I don't have anything pink. She's yeah. staying hydrated. kind of alarming. I I'm wearing sure. a cute Skims tank top. Ryan, what are you wearing? I'm wearing my roommate's tube top that's pink. Very cute. We're very excited. So excited. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, wait, I have a pink bow in my hair. Oh, oh uh, it's, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, this is so sad. <laughs> I was like, my hair looks so I'm cute like, where? tonight. Wait, where did that, it go? Where I don't know. Maybe it fell in DG. You dropped off the pizza, by the way. We had to yeah, drop off pizza, DG. I thought I was gonna pee my pants. So had a piece. That. Very good. Katie had about four. Did you have a piece? Yeah. No, oh, I had three. Okay. okay. No, she had three. My bad. She had three. Did you have <laughs> three? I think it's not much for a while. So wait, we're talking about what we're grateful for. But like any little things that brought you joy this week. Oh, oh wait, we talked about this last night. Oh yes, we did. We did. Something that brings me joy, a little thing, is when my roommate is really happy. I love Maya, she's probably gonna watch this. She's the best, but she gets a little bit... <laughs> <laughs> she's not on edge frequently. <laughs> when she's in a super like chipper mood, I'm in a chipper mood, so that makes me happy. Mine is good acts of kindness. Today I helped a woman Aww. figure out how to work the screen at McDonald's. <laughs> I didn't partake in the act of kindness, but I saw it. Our friend Maddie, we were going to our 8 a.m. and this guy was leaving to go snowboarding and he very clearly like dropped his snowboarding goggles and we didn't really realize or see until he was super far gone and she picked him up and just ran after him and she was so out of breath when she came back and it was just a really nice thing for someone to do at eight in the morning. Yeah, Cause that guy would have been really sad without his goggles. I always say Maddie. one good deed of the day. Oh, I always so have to true. find a good deed of the day. That <laughs> means you have to help others. Oh, I know. Oh. I'm sorry ours guys, was, the parking is back there. All of ours was getting the pizza for Jillian because she couldn't, oh, so true. that was our good deed of the day. But I feel like I didn't do enough deeds of the day. I finished my book. Well, I did a lot of deeds of the day for myself. You just have to do one, one good <laughs> deed so of the selfish. day. You're so selfish. No, I'm You're selfless. selfless. <laughs> I'm selfless for myself. I'm in sport mode again. That's guys, I'm really oh, struggling. Oh yeah, I forgot about Katie that, yeah. loves sport mode. That's my act of kindness was telling you you were in sports mode three, so you were about to bomb it to Kaiser. Or to <laughs> she DG. was ready to go. Help. Back. Ryan X Annie can't yeah, buy. Right. We'll we be back go. soon. We'll see y'all on the flip. Tomorrow. Hey guys, <laughs> we're in my dorm because we have time to stare. But I thought I would give yeah. you a little PR. Oh, Wait. PR? This is not oh, 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 oh. Thank you. This is a haul. Wow. This is from like, Jolly House. OOTN. I accidentally took Kira's leather jacket. We accidentally swapped. But I'm also wearing her Skims bodysuit, Abercrombie gosh. jeans, what? and Reebok shoes. This leather jacket. <laughs> this is from Poshmark. I have no idea what brand it is. Amazon. This is from Glassons. Yeah, nice. Glassons is the leather jacket. <laughs> Jeans are Levi's. Socks wow. are Brandy. <laughs> Shoes are Nikes. Good morning. I'm back from my first class and I'm going to get ready and get packing. We had so much fun last night. We came back kind of early because Ryan had a flight at like four in the morning. It was so much fun. My room is a mess because I never cleaned it up last night. And I just came back and called Matt and went to sleep. We're leaving in like an hour, so I have a good hour to finish packing everything, get all my stuff together, and be ready to go. I packed some stuff last night, and then I made a list of the other stuff I don't want to forget for today. I have other things to do too that I wanted to get done this morning, but I really haven't. But it's been kind of nice to have a lazy-ish morning. I went to my class, and then I went to my favorite smoothie shop. If you are ever in Boulder, go to Prime Nutrition. It's so good, and the owner is so nice. And I just had a massive, like, chocolate protein smoothie, and that was pretty much my breakfast. And I kind of need to get lunch before we leave, too. So I'm just trying to pick up the pace, because I've been having a slow morning. <gasps> oh my gosh. I've done this to a highlighter before. So sad. I did this right before break with this specific highlighter. Like, come on. Freaking freak. What are the odds of this? I want to take it back, but also it's kind of my fault because I dropped it like this, this far off the ground. And I was like, oh, it's fine. Chuck it back in the makeup bag. Why? I love that I was saying morning and it's almost two o'clock. R.I.P. 
I think that's as good as it's gonna get. This is my outfit, Amazon hoodie and Nike sweatpants. And I'm wearing the matching Nike top under. And my Apple Watch. I've been wearing my Apple Watch so much this week and I'm really loving it. It's super convenient in class. That way I don't have to pull out my phone. I can just respond to a text on my watch. And then it kind of keeps you from getting distracted on my phone because I tend to go on my phone to respond to something and then I get really easily distracted because it's just right there. Okay, we're good. This is the state of my room. It's quite a mess, but there's a method to the madness. All this stuff on here I need to pack. These are the dishes I need to do. This is clean laundry to fold, and this is everything I've packed for the weekend. I'm not bringing a lot. It's just like my helmet's in here, so it looks like massive, but it's all the ski stuff, outfits, pajamas. So I'm gonna bring this in my backpack and just put my toiletries in my backpack. Really quick, before I get on with this video, I have to thank today's sponsor, Notion. I'm so excited about working with Notion. This is such a fitting sponsorship for this video because I started using Notion at the beginning of January. If you watch my New Year's video, I organized all of my video planning and school assignments in Notion. Essentially, it's a single space and platform where you can plan, think, write, organize your thoughts, your assignments. There's a million templates and the possibilities are very endless. It's entirely customizable. I'll insert screen recordings here so you can see what my homepage looks like. I have three major sections so you can see obviously on the screen i have a session for school work and life and when i click on the school you can see i put a bible verse at the top of every page i have all my classes listed out and assignments in my to-do list i still have more to add because not all my teachers have posted their full assignments for the semester but you can look at it with a calendar view i love notion because everything's in one place you can make it your own you can make it aesthetic you can bring other people on to collaborate and if you want ideas or you don't know how to get started organizing your notion they have a massive template gallery i use the template gallery for my little daily habit section I'll show you guys that also. I need to expand on this section because I only have the daily habits and I want to add more. I have a working section for dreams. It's just things I hope for. I want to add to that. But the habit tracker is from the template gallery and my whole school page is from the template gallery. There's literally everything you could possibly think of. You can meal plan, organize your assignments, wedding plan, do financial stuff, budgeting. It's a really great way to bring your goals and your organization to life creatively, aesthetically, and in a way that really does make sense. Also on my homepage, I have quick links under each title. I have a link to Canvas, to my buff portal, which is kind of just the admin for CU. And then the quick links in the work section are to share documents with my manager. I'm not gonna scroll all the way down, but I have my whole content calendar planned out through March. I can look at it in a calendar view and also in a list view. You get the gist. I love Notion and I geek out about this stuff because I'm all about planning and I always have lists going in my phone. And this is perfect because it keeps it all in one platform. Beyond all that, they're always adding new features, new templates, new things and their latest addition is the Q&A feature. Essentially, it's in addition to Notion AI. Basically, it just goes beyond your regular AI because it can analyze your previous business decisions and gather information from across the whole workspace. So it's like you have a personal assistant. Some of the example Q&A questions that they list are like, what were the action items coming out of my meeting with my manager last week? I put the notes I take on my iPad under that specific class section and I can just say bring up my notes for my anthropology class and they'd be there. You can get started with your Notion and sign up today at the link down below in the description box. I'll also leave links to my favorite Notion tutorials, the ones that I watch down below. That way you can have an easy reference for learning how to make your Notion your own and personalize it. Eventually I will sit down and do a tutorial and a vlog but I want to wait till I have everything all perfected and just set up to the best of my ability. You can get started with Notion AI for only $10 a month month and if you're already a Notion AI user you can access the Q&A feature in your workspace. Perfect timing. Love Kira's back from her shower and yeah. that's all the great for app. the ad. Super help keep, helps me keep organized. I love it so much. <laughs> all the links and everything will be down below in the description. Thank you Notion for sponsoring this video. We made it guys. I didn't vlog anything on the road. <laughs> Because me and Adelaide were really carsick. But we're here! We're on the fourth floor. My bag ripped, but I think it'll stay together. Look at Sydney's puppy. Hi, baby. For dinner, we're having stuffed peppers. <laughs> Sophie's here. Hi! Adelaide is here. And Abby's here. here. And Piper's here. Behind the scenes. I know. We're gonna watch Stop The Bachelor. That. My shirt says eat fish. So remember to go out and eat some fish today, ladies. <laughs> It is the next day. Everyone's downstairs. We're almost ready to eat dinner. We skied all of the first half of the day. I vlogged a little bit on my phone, so I'll insert that here. 
Hi vlog! <laughs> we are getting absolutely pummeled. It hasn't stopped snowing all day, but we're having so much fun. Yeah. Me, Piper, and Sophie are on the hey. lift right now. We've been like pass hopping kind of yeah. with with Abby. Abby and Sydney. Mm -hmm. There's like and snow going this in is my head. The best day ever. <laughs> this is some of the best snow I've skied. It is like, yeah. so it's, deep, it's so much snow. It's and magical. Perfect. The trees are stunning. Yes. Look mm -hmm. at this. I want to do a better job of keeping you guys updated, so I will vlog a little bit on our next run. This is Yay! the blast. Piper's going to share what brought Wait, her joy I this weekend. My yeah, probably. It happened just now. I was going through the trees. I got some speed, and I just fell. And it was just so magical because I'm with Katie and Sophie. And, like, it was just great being with people you love, doing things you love in the most beautiful place in the entire world. What brings me joy is just, like... Being able to be together like as a little family. Yeah. Like I feel like we're on a little Yeah, we're all sleeping in the same room. We're all sleeping in the same room. It's cute. And watching the so good. Last night, that was so fun. Yes. Yeah, Everybody's so, so happy. We're gonna take a little break, get hot cocoa. It's like almost one right now. There it is. That's all I got. We pretty much sat at the lodge, ate our food, and then came back. We, we rode down on a gondola, and then we all came back here, showered, and we were just like chilling, working on homework for the last little bit. And Sydney's dad is making us steaks for dinner, and he wanted me to influence it, so I'll have to show you the steaks. Okay. Here's the steaks. The steaks, she's influencing them. Hey. JJ Ament was the, is the chef. Hire him, even though he's not hireable. I think so too. Look at the shimmer on this from the highlighter that spilled. Wow, we're enamored. This is crazy. Me and Abby live like 10 minutes away from each other, but so we're, we're just Colorado. in shock. Yeah, but we met here. We had no idea we lived 10 minutes away. Here we are. We're little cabin girlies. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's the lift right there, and you can watch people ski down the mountain. Mm -hmm. My snow boots are finally coming in handy. I've needed them before, but not like this, you know? Piper is going at it with the snow, Joe. Because the cars are buried. <laughs> crazy. This looks like a movie scene. Sean to the rescue. It's a couple hours later, and we're back in Boulder. We were just talking about all the little things that we're excited for in our week. The theme of this vlog is like finding joy in the little things. Yes. Do you want to talk about your things that you're excited for this week? Really looking wait, forward. Wait. Go. Really looking forward to Young Life on Wednesday. I think we're having an Olympic night. It's like probably a minute to win it. Game probably a minute to win it. I just so really fun. like being with the people. Um, oh, and um, I'm looking forward to playing my guitar more. We're doing like a lit overnight on Friday where we sleep in the Mall House, which is going to be crazy. Lit is like the leaders in training, so all the people who are like going to lead next year are doing like a training every week. And so we're all going to bond and learn about how to be good leaders on Friday night. So I'm super yeah. pumped for that. <laughs> and for the Nuggets game tomorrow at Kai Omega. Still love my DG sister though. <laughs> Back to um, dinner time. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I hate her. <laughs> Change of plans. I was at the Delta Gamma house for like three, three and a half hours. Icy. What? To watch. We were going as icy. Oh, hey. Oh, I brought you guys. We're going to Walgreens. So Stella's going to Starbucks. Yes, I am. <laughs> Bye. We're walking back right now. What were you saying about how you felt like a gremlin? I think I'm just like sleep deprived and I just feel like, like I'm not functioning. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Either I'm like so sleep deprived that I'm not functioning or I'm just like, I don't know. I don't just, know either. I think I'm just like, wait, are you not gonna go this way? Oh, are we taking the bus? Yeah. It's pretty, but it's cold. I got not enough done. I was like texting Allie for a while and then I edited a TikTok, but not the video that I need to finish. So I need to finish that when I get back. I need to unpack. And I'm just gonna have like a chill rest of the night. It's so loud, I'm sorry. The Grammys are on tonight, so maybe I'll watch those. And we're gonna get on the bus because we don't wanna walk. 
I spent the rest of the night cleaning and prepping, prepping for the week, and that is all I have for this video. I know I didn't do the best job carrying the theme throughout it, so I wanted to end with this quote from a book I'm reading. It says, really listen to how you speak and pay attention to what you do and make a conscious effort to increase your joy in whatever capacity you can. It goes on to say, it's about being proactive about creating a life you love instead of meekly living the one you think you're stuck with. Give yourself the gift of a joyous life while you're still among the living. I hope you enjoyed this video, and it could bring a little happiness to your day, and I will see you so soon in the next one. Bye, guys.